welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a Sargent Master Copy and I just love doing master copies because there's not one painting that I've done where I don't learn something. And for this one what I really noticed was how much my eyes have improved. And I can't wait to share with you all the little things that I noticed as I was painting. But first, of course, I had to put some gesso layers on my sketchbook and then look for the master copy that I wanted to work on. This one right here is a portrait painting of his teacher, Carlos Duran. And before we start with the painting, I just wanted to share with you my new desk. Thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. As you saw, my old desk was very wobbly and in need for a replacement. This right here is the FlexiSpot Comair All-in-One Standing Desk. I absolutely love this desk because of the height adjustment feature that it has. When I'm working on my laptop for hours, I could get so tired of just sitting and it's so nice for a change to be able to stand and move my body while still having my laptop at a comfortable eye level. This desk has a memory preset function, so you could set up to four different heights for it to remember for the next time you need it. FlexiSpot is having a prime day sale on June 29th to the 30th, up to $100 off sales and flash sales on bestsellers. I'll leave the link down in my description box if you'd like to check out FlexiSpot. Thank you again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. And now back to the painting process. I haven't painted in my sketchbook in quite a while so I'm really happy to come back to it because I really do want to fill it up and do a sketchbook tour one of these days but let me warn you before you continue on with the rest of the video this portrait looks kind of creepy in its early stages. I don't really know why I went about it in the way that I did, but maybe it's just because I haven't done a portrait in a while, or I don't know. I was kind of just going with the flow, and it looked pretty creepy in the beginning, so I apologize for that, but it does turn out to be a pretty good portrait, and I did learn a lot, so I love to share that with you guys. So all I've really done here so far is just freehand the painting and that's another thing that I like my sketchbook for. I like to free draw my paintings in here and just practice my drawing skills a little bit. For bigger projects, I do tend to rely on a grid method just to make sure that I can achieve a really good painting in terms of the proportions and the sizing of everything. but. I still do like to practice my drawing skills and so my sketchbook is a place for me to do that. I realized later on that the features on his face were a little too big or too small. <laughs> His eyes were a little too big and his nose was a little too small. I also noticed that that's something that I tend to do quite often in my portraits, so it's a good thing to notice because it's definitely something I need to improve on. Now 
And so here is my very kind warning that we are entering the very creepy stage. <laughs> it looks like he has one of those white face masks on, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But don't worry, I will fix him up and he will look much better in a little bit. So back to the eyes, as I mentioned, the eyes were a little too big, so I feel that towards the end he ends up looking kind of bubbly, <laughs> um, but nonetheless, I still find it to be a pretty good painting for all that I've learned. As I was studying Sargent's portrait, I realized a lot of things that I'm pretty sure I would not have realized back when I was a full-blown beginner. I know that he likes to use vibrant colors in very small areas and I noticed that he likes to do that in the tear duct of the eye and also in the lips so it was really fun for me to play around with the colors when noticing that. This is really random but I also really liked how he did his eyebrow. It's almost not even there but you can feel the shape of the eyebrow and that was a little bit of a challenge for me but another great thing that I noticed about Sargent. The last thing that I noticed was that the beard is actually green and that was a funny one for me because I definitely don't think I would have naturally chose the color green for a beard, but I just love analyzing Sargent's work because every time I look at it, it could be the same painting and I'll find something completely different. So I had an amazing time painting this and learning so much about his process. I hope you learned a little bit as well with me. I'm actually posting this full process on Patreon so you could see the entire real-time process of this painting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you here very soon.